Bueno, otra entrevista. Vamos a hablar de pagos digitales, de cómo los pagos digitales, los pagos físicos, cómo la tecnología está ayudando a que sean más seguros. Hablamos con eh, uno de los encargados de una empresa llamada Freedom Pay. Muchísimas gracias por esta entrevista. Cuéntanos qué es Freedom Pay, pero más allá de qué es Freedom Pay, cómo está cambiando todo el panorama de los pagos con la tecnología. So, so as you know, um, the landscape is ever evolving, right? Things have changed quite a bit in the last two years and the rate at which technology is being adopted is continuing to accelerate. Um, as it pertains to Mexico, you know, what we believe is, is that that'll start to uh, encourage a transition away from cash and, and towards digital payments, especially as you consider the fact that Mexico is a, a very mobile market. Um, accessibility to the internet is becoming more prevalent, which enables cross-border commerce. And when you put all of those things together, Um, I think that creates a strong need for Freedom Pay's platform. Um, Freedom Pay, um, as you may know, was was the first PCI validated point-to-point -point encrypted payment gateway with EMV support launched in, in in the Western Hemisphere. And from a customer present standpoint, or or a brick and mortar payment in store, if you will, um, what that enables is the highest level of security for payments. But Freedom Pay offers uh, omnichannel payments, so we support almost any type of payment you can think of, whether that's an unattended payment on a kiosk, an attended payment with a cashier, in-store, online, on mobile. We support touchless commerce, contactless transactions, um, alternative payment methods like Venmo, PayPal, Klarna. And our role is to bring as much flexibility and as much optionality as we can, you know, to merchants that are conducting business, not just in Mexico, about, but around the globe, And really, our goal is to help them create a very consistent and seamless uh, consumer experience across both their physical and digital channels, regardless of how that consumer might be making that payment. We want the experience to be similar, and we want it to be smooth. That's that's something very interesting because here in Mexico, and I mean all around the globe, uh, people are not too confident with this kind of payment, especially with the online payments, especially now with the uh, contactless payments. Uh, there is a lot of uh, information or misinformation that says that it's not secure, that maybe they can install all your information, they can scan. And there is a lot of business and there is a lot of people that don't want to use this kind of technology because they are afraid of that the personal information or the money are stolen. What can you can what you can say to all these people that maybe are saying like, oh, I don't know if this kind of technology is really secure and how you are making this technology completely secure? And as these types of payments become more prevalent in Mexico, people will become more comfortable as usage increases, as, as they become more widely available. And I think a lot of that will be driven by um, larger cross-border and international merchants that are conducting business in, in, in Mexico. You have to continue to accept cash. You have to accept card. Uh, you know, you have to accept contactless payments. You have to accept... Um, really anything that the consumers want to use. It's about convenience. And the more convenience that you provide, the more customers who will do business with you. Thank you very much, Nathan. I hope to see you very soon to talk more about the future of the payments.